You got a good start discovering the map. Now it's time to help out the local expeditions. Welcome to Kola Peninsula. Let's get started. We're going to take the step 310 over to the port and pick up a metal beam for the old crossing task. We'll need to deliver one metal beam to rebuild the bridge. After that, we're going to get started resupplying the local camps. The Step 310 does a really good job in this map because it's a smaller truck and it's very stable and very capable. I have the off-road UOD2 tires on it. You could also use the chain tires, they would work pretty well, but I chose to go with the off-roads because they will perform better in the snow and mud. The downside is we have to take it easy on the ice. It's easy to lose control with them. I personally think this is the best way to cross the map without taking damage. You just have to be careful because it's really slippery. We're headed over to the old abandoned factory where we activated the old crossing task on the first episode. You want to be careful that you don't drive into the ice on the left side. You will fall through it and get stuck. Okay, we're here. Let's get this bridge rebuilt. Now that we have Old Crossing done, we can get started resupplying the camps. We can start tracking the supplies delivery task and also activate the cabin fever contract. We will be working on them both at the same time. We'll need to haul one service spare part to the north camp and one to the east camp.
we're back at the railway station where we can load service spare parts here at the loading bay. We'll grab two and we'll get turned around. We're going to head back down to the camp on the ice where we left the scout fuel carrier and pick up a cabin to take with us. We'll just head around this island and make our way to the other side. first thing we'll want to do is get topped off with fuel and then just off to the right is the cabin we need to take with us for the cabin fever contract. The cabin has winch points like a trailer so we'll pull it behind us. You can pack it on a vehicle that has a big enough flatbed but this one is not big enough. You just have to make sure all four outside corners are touching the truck and then you can pack it as a vehicle. We're making our way back around where we finished the track walker task, just up ahead here, and there's a trail that runs up to the north camp. It's kind of rocky, but if you take it easy, you should be okay. We're just going to drive right up this valley. I think it's an old riverbed. This section here definitely has some risk of tipping over when you hit these rocks, so be careful. And we've reached the North Camp. There are some tasks here, but we've already activated them in other locations. They're just secondary spots, so we don't need to worry about them. We'll run up to this square here. We just need to drag the cabin in and deliver the service spare part in the same location. So now that the cabin is here, we can just pull it out of the way and drop it. Next, we're gonna run over and discover the Acteon because this truck does not have trailer support with the flatbed and crane combo. And there is a trailer store here we'll need to get refueled before we make the trip to the east camp. So we're going to use the Acteon to do that.
right down in the bottom here, you'll see there is a crate of oil barrels. We need to load these up for a different task. That way we won't have to come back here again to grab that. This is why it's important to have a crane on whatever truck you bring out here. Okay, now we'll drive over and discover the Acteon, and we're going to pull it back to the East Camp. We'll need to put a little bit of fuel into it. It's empty at the moment. It's not completely destroyed, but it's partially destroyed. So we'll jump into it. We're going to back it up and hook up to this service trailer, and we can repair the Acteon and the step at the same time. Just make sure you engage all-wheel drive before jumping back to the step, and then we'll pull it out of here, both the truck and the trailer. The Acteon is one of my favorite trucks in the game, but I do personally really like the small 4x4 trucks. You can actually use this thing to haul long logs, and it surprisingly does well as long as it's not too deep of mud. But it has a ton of power. The top engine for the Acteon is the same top engine for some of the bigger trucks like the Bandit and even the Step 310. So the size difference makes the power to weight ratio pretty high. Okay, let's pull it over to the trailer store, and we can use it to access the trailers. Let's just drop off the oil barrels for now, and we can come back and load them again later, when we're getting ready to haul them for the task. We'll jump in the Acteon, we can sell off the service trailer and buy a maintenance trailer. We'll get everything refueled. We'll make our way to the East Camp now. We can leave the back side of the North Camp and there's a small road up here that we can get access to by going through the trees. There's a frozen lake back here, and another task that we can activate. It's called Lake Brothers. We'll need to repair and refuel the little Zix 5368 and haul it to the amateur mechanics house. But we're not going to do that just yet. We'll activate the Dead Calm task, where all we need to do is visit the coastal Matillo Point, which is just up ahead, and also on our way to the eastern camp. So we can follow this trail up through the trees, and all we need to do here is discover this waypoint. 
Dead Calm is now complete. Let's jump back to the supplies delivery task. And you can see the eastern camp is over there in the dark shaded area. We can drive around to get to it, but I prefer to take the back way out of the Mateo point up through the trees here. It's a bit shorter and a lot more interesting. Once we make our way through the trees and we get up to the top of the hill, we're getting close to the edge of the map now. We're going to see some of the best views that Lake Cove has to offer. Just up over the top of this hill, we get to look out over the ocean and see the peninsula itself. The snow back here is pretty good to drive through, it's not very deep. Now make sure you go far enough down the hill before you turn, or it can get pretty tipsy. Now we've reached the east camp, let's deliver our service spare part. Alright, let's start tracking the cabin fever contract. We just need to take this cabin back to the north camp where we took the first one. Now we can turn around and follow the road out of here, but the road goes through the canyon and it's glare ice all the way through there. If we had chain tires, I would say take that route. But with the off-road tires, it gets really difficult to pull it through there. There's nothing to winch to if you get stuck. So this is another option that I came up with a while back that we can avoid doing all of that. Also we get to see this cool bunker. When you're going through here, make sure you don't stop. It'll be almost impossible to get moving again. But you also want to make sure you don't tip over, it's extremely uneven. Pretty much just sliding around through here. Well, we made it through and we're back to the ice. And our cabin is just chilling, waiting for us to pick it up.
Okay, the rest is history. We just need to pull it back to the north camp. So we'll head down the ice. We're going to head towards that lighthouse. Another great view. And then just right around this rock formation, we can turn up into the trees and we'll drive up another valley. You'll want to pay attention to where I'm driving here because that road doesn't look bad but if you try to take that corner one of the tracks is really soft mud and you almost always tip over going through there. So just drive around it in the snow. You'll be much better off. And we've made it back to the camp. That didn't take long at all. So we'll get this one delivered. Cabin fever is now complete. We can head back over to the Acteon and get refueled and repaired and load up our oil barrels. On the next episode, we'll continue working in this area and make our way across the map towards the west. Make sure you come back and check it out. It's going to be a good one. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching.